Hello, this is Eugene Blanchard, and uh, we're continuing on with the alternator that's been converted into an electric motor, three-phase motor. It's called the brushless motor. Uh, a lot of the brushless motors, they'll have sensors inside. This doesn't have a sensor. So uh, what I've done since the last video is I've wired this up in a delta configuration. So previously it was in a Y configuration, it worked quite well. Now with the delta what happens is we get the full voltage of our batteries. We've got 25 volts of batteries here hooked up to it across each of the coils. When it's in a Y configuration what happens is that the 25 volts is across a series of uh, at least two coils so we don't get all the power possible to it. Uh, when I first wired it up what happened is I didn't have the polarities of the coils right. The red coil was uh, out of phase and it caused, when it turned on, this thing would shudder back and forth. So I rewired it, just basically took the red coil and swapped the wires over like that. And now it powers up good. Uh, some of the things I kept, I kept the switch that would change the polarity of the uh, coil here. And... Uh, what happened was is uh, it didn't make any difference with this. If I change the polarity, it still goes in the same direction. Now, um, you'll see, you'll, I don't know, in the previous one, when I turned it on, it was rotating in this direction. Now it rotates in the opposite direction. And there's an option with this that I could reprogram it, tell it to program uh, return in the other direction. So let's turn it on and see how it works. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's talk about how this is hooked up. So I've got an EC, ESC, electronic speed controller, and it has three outputs. These are the three phases. So the three phases goes to the corners of each of the uh, delta configurations. So it's pretty straightforward. Right? On the output, it has uh, power and ground. So I have my plus voltage in, it's plus 25 in, and my ground. And it just goes to my batteries, which are hooked up in series. Then you have uh, another output, and this is uh, it gives you your plus or minus 5.5 volts. It's, uh, it's called the uh, BEC, I believe it is. So it gives us uh, some voltage, and this one will do up to 5 amps. And I've tapped off of it, and I've connected it up to my uh, field coil here. Right? And then what this switch does is just basically swap the wires around. Swap the polarity. I wanted to see if it would make a difference. Uh, it doesn't. It still goes the same direction. Kind of disappointing. I was hoping that I could just flip it and all of a sudden that would be my forward reverse switch. Then what you I have hooked up to here is my tester. It's called an ECS tester. right? And it's used uh, for when you're doing model aircrafts and stuff like that. You want to test it without flying or, or boats. And now you can test the server servos and things like that. Right? So it ends up, this makes a great sort of gas pedal or speed control on it. Right? So that makes it really easy. Over here we had our program card that I showed earlier that's used to program it. So really you just need an ECS that's for a uh, brushless motor with no sensors and a speed tester and now you can control uh, an alternator. So let's turn it on. So I'm just jumper cabling everything, a nice spark there turns on. You might have heard it go beep, 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 right? And it's very quiet, super quiet. Um, surprised at how quiet it is. And it works great. I uh, have a big glove here. I tried to hold it to see what would happen. And when I held it and it started, it would jerk a little bit and then it give a little bit more and then boom, it would take off, right? So I think what would happen is that we would have to gear this down. And that's about it. All right, thank you very much.